Hi everyone, it's Laurel here, and today is day 19 of my Featured Artist Challenge. Um, I hope you're enjoying the videos as much as I am. Um, I really like putting together something special for um, the people that have inspired me. And today I would like to tell you about um, a very special lady named Darlene. She goes by Artie Dar, and she's relatively new to the uh, YouTube and Ustream world. Um, but, uh, but Dar is a mixed media artist. Um, there isn't anything this woman can't do. I like to refer to her as a magic mixed media art artist because um, since she's become in involved in the 31-day challenge, I think her challenge was to do something art artsy every day. And she has shared with us you know, a, a, an amazing amount of work that either from herself or from other artists that she's participated in swaps with. So you get to see her work. You get to see tons of other artists' work. And, um, I mean, she's just incredible. She paints. She sculpts. She draws. She alters items. She makes uh, paper objects. Um, she make she can take an outside tin and turn it into a shrine. She can take a book and turn it into a pocketbook. Um, and it, 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 she's just incredible. Um, I first met uh, Dar on uh, my friend Paula's Ustream show, and um, as it turns out, we're kind of neighbors. She lives about 30 minutes south of me. And um, we have some common friends, and yet we've never run into each other. So um, we're hoping to rectify that in the near future. There's a local crop going on. Um, so I always like to watch Dar's videos every day because I'm not only going to get to see her work and her inspiration, but, you know, she's just so giving and sharing, you know, all the other artists and, and places that, you know, she's, come in contact with great art. Um, an amazing mind, an amazing uh, coach. You know, she's very quick, and I've had to rewatch you know, a couple of her Ustream videos a couple of times to, you know, just to get the, the hang of how she's doing something. But she's, she's such a good teacher. She's going over it bit by bit and encouraging you the entire way. Um, so I know that Dar really enjoys the steampunk genre that I do as well and um, you know it, sometimes it's daunting to come up with something to create for someone but I just you know when I'm stuck with those those types of thoughts you know I just make what I'm comfortable with and and I really enjoy making tags if you couldn't tell <laughs> practically every person in this series has gotten a tag from me, but, you know, it's just where I'm comfortable and um, what I enjoy, so I, I hope that they do too. So this is the tag that I put together for Dar. Um, it's made using the Graphic 45 Steampunk Debutante paper, which I think is going down as my favorite paper of 2010, and boy, I wish I could get some more. Um, I want to thank my wonderful friend Sharon, who was a featured artist, and she gifted me a, a pack of it, and I am just loving using it. So I just wanted to go over how I created this tag. So the background paper is, is from the pack. Um, it's that beautiful floral with the gears. Um, the image of the woman was cut out, and if you look closely in her hair, her hair is made completely of gears. Um, I had some Prima Bling in my favorite champagne color. I added some lace from my wonderful friend Julie. Um, and I just have the top showing up here. And a little bit of black bling just for accent. Uh, another piece of the Steampunk Debutante paper is here. It's the little postage stamps images. This is um, Bo Bunny. They're kind of like the Webster's Bloomers, similar. 
and then we have, you know, the rest of the lace on the bottom. I have one of my favorite ornament hooks, and, um, you know, using that as a memo pin and a Tim Holtz um, adage ticket. I also hand cut one of the butterflies out. And I really wanted to get more metal on it, but I have to be honest, um, I liked it. I just liked it the way it was, and, you know, so I kind of was at a stopping point. I also put some of his corners, Tim Holtz's corners, on the top. And then I have some satin ribbon. Um, I believe it's Martha, Rib Martha Stewart. Um, the double-faced satin ribbon that I, I really like, and I just thought it kind of tied it all together. So um, I think that we really need to encourage Dar as much as she encourages us to, you know, be, get on Ustream. She's planning a show upcoming, um, and uh, I, for one, will be there um, by hook or by crook. I don't want to miss it. Um, she's got a lot of fantastic ideas. I mean, she's shown us things from silk screening to making journals to her art room. I mean, she is a real inspiration, and she's a real artist, guys. I mean, she just really thinks it's not just scrapbooking. It's you know, it's everything. So I really, really encourage you to go check her out. She's Artie Dar um, on YouTube, and of course I'll have the links below. So this is my big thank you, Dar. Keep on going. Keep on creating. I hope you enjoy the tag. Um, and maybe... It, you know, it'll find a little place of honor in your art room for a little while. And um, thank you for being such an inspiration to me. And we got to get together soon. And we'll make that happen. So thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll be back tomorrow with Day 20 Featured Artist. Bye!